Welcome to Nido Master. Hello, it's Marie. It took 30k views of this particular video. Cassette Girl. In this episode, let's talk about Mind Chamber's creations. One of them. Does anyone know about Mind Chamber? What about this parody I saw years back when Snake is eating Fred's Fruity Pebbles <laughs> in the Metal Gear Solid collab Disc 1 and 2? No. The other animations? Hmm. Wait. You guys mean this, right? Mind Chamber's animation of Pico? Many animations, art, and games, especially the art style. The first time I saw Pico was in the old rating system before I knew him more in FNF and watched animations in the winter through the spring at this year. We are not talking about Mind Chamber's Pico. It's all about this character, Alloy. Time to settle into the metal. Just in case. <laughs> I, I just noticed that. Just in case. It's a pun. I, I haven't noticed that. Okay. Just in case. A kid who found a dying alien who gave him the armor of alloy. To put a stop to the cyber pits, the hood rats, and the forces of evil. Oh. We are going way back to the mid 90s. This is something different and interesting for a Newgrounds character. It all started when Jose Ortiz, who is Mind Chamber, created Alloy in 1995 for a school project of Red Baron Sprite Contest, consisting of characters with unicycles. The people weren't original, nor was Jose. Then he thought of Gizmo Duck from DuckTales and Phobos from Darkstalkers for a transformation of weapons, gadgets, and a motorcycle. Gizmo Duck plus Phobos equals Alloy. Sort of. Fun fact, Alloy is actually a admixture of metals. After the cell of 96 and Alloy's vs. Maestro pencil test of 1997, he really liked the character a lot from his simple cool design and fun to animate. His final animation test of Alloy was a 3 minute cell shaded 3D animation. It ends up being a B plus, which is great for him. Jose was hired at UBO when they saw his work in his portfolio. The interviewer loved it, so he made another cartoon, but with Flash for the first time. Flash was a big deal back then. People at the job loved it, but Jose found it horrible. Yeah, it may not be the greatest of his work, but at least it gives a boost. UBO went under after the dot-com crash. It was not going well for Jose. A year later, his old boss wanted Alloy to be on a TV show in France. They were looking for cartoons at that time. Mine was mixed with delighted and gloomy about it. He has to do research in 3D on books in order to get it right. The pitch trailer is finished. They have the rapper Lil' Kim as the narrator and Barry Michael Cooper to write the pilot episode. But sadly, the project was scrapped a half a year later. Disappointed, but carried on. UBO wants to try Alloy again, and Jose suggests Alloy can be in a Game Boy Advance game to have a good promotion of the character. Jose would like to use Flash and extra money for a 3D demo game with cheap and good 3D engines. Jose asks Tom Fulp to get started on the game if he is not busy. They meet up with Black Hammer Games, a nice place but never made a platformer on the GBA before. The deal was signed to develop the Alloy game. The problem is that Tom Fulp's engine cannot be used. Instead, it was used for the demo of Alien Hominid with the help of the artist named Singe. Working on the Alloy game is sluggish and difficult from the sprites, gameplay, and restrictions of the Game Boy Advance. Jose was not impressed with the game nor the people. The demo was rushed because UBO needed to be shown to Nintendo. Nintendo says, nice graphics, no gameplay. 
The GBA game was officially canceled before release, to the point where UBO no longer wants to work with the Alloy projects. Jose didn't think about Alloy for a while after that. He started working with Pico 2, a sequel to Pico School and Alien Hominid for the console version with Singe. Pico 2 was also cancelled due to focus on other work and MC was busy with his part-time job at the time. A couple years later, MC told Josh from PsychoGoldfish.com about the story of Alloy. He enjoyed the gameplay mechanics of the combo-based gameplay to develop Alloy's Arena. It was a bright sight for Jose, as well as another fighting game called New Grounds Rumble. Also, he appeared in Mason's Bubble Blast game, a game that was made for his stepson when he was young, a character bible, plus an action figure that has been restored by Adam NG, aka Enigman69. It's probably the same prototype his mother's boyfriend made. Finally, some sunlight behind the dark clouds. Mind Chamber proceeds toward his old boss to try the cartoon series again. The Alloy reboot will be made with redesigns of the characters, and the first four episodes in 3D for the games. Oh. Alloy got cancelled yet again due to the funding issues. Alloy may not have the series and the video game that Mike Chambers visioned, it really deserved more. When I think of Alloy, his designs looks really cool, exciting. It's giving me Mega Man vibes. Well, people say it's Mega Man and Sonic. To me, it's mostly Mega Man because of the robot suit and the facial expressions, all of that. Including an unexpected return in the recent Friday Night Funkin' animation, Friday Night Alloy. Not steel, nor ordinary metal. Bars of Alloy. What do you guys think of this video? Let me know in the comments below so I can hear your thoughts. This is Marie, and see you later. Settle into the metal.